We have successfully installed the latest Python and latest JupyterLab notebook version and we have successfully run a Python line here. Let's see how we can install and do this. First of all, go to this URL. I will have all the steps and all the links in the description so you can copy this from there. And as you can see, initially, uh, you can just click on this button, download Python 3.11.3 from here. It's the latest version. But if you want some older version, you can just scroll down and choose any one of these from here. So let's say we want this one, which is actually the latest. So you just click on download here and you scroll down and there are a lot of files here. So what you want to do is you want to download one of these two. So which one do you want? So what you want to do is you want to check your OS bit. Okay, so to do that, uh, press Windows and R and write DXDIAG and click OK. And as you can see here in operating system, it's showing 64 bit, right? So you download the 64 bit version. Just click on this and it will be downloaded. I already have this downloaded here. So once this is downloaded, click on open file. And you can choose to install uh, like customized installation, but no need to do that. You need to do install this because it already includes IDLE, PIP and all the good stuff. So IDLE is like an IDE for Python and PIP is used to install another pick Another Python packages like TensorFlow or NumPy or uh, you know all that other good stuff. So you'll also want to check this so that you can use Python.exe from command line. Okay, and click on install now. Hit yes. Let it install. Okay, so it's showing step was successful and all this stuff right so that means it is installed but now we need to see if it is accessible from command line because if you want to run scripts mostly you'll be doing it from command line so press cmd and start and let's see if it's working or not yeah as you can see we are inside this thing now this is working because we had checked that add to path by part if you forgot to do that we will see how we can add python to path uh, in some other tutorial so Let's print and see if it's working or not. Hello from Python. Okay, it is working. All right. And after you have installed Python, you just need to type this command. Pip install Jupyter Lab. Hit enter. And you might see this error here that shows pip is not recognized as an internal or external command. In case you this you see this error, you do this add Python dash m in front of it and then hit enter and then your installation will start as you can see here it is downloading jupyter lab now our jupyter lab and jupyter notebook installation is complete so how do we open it press the windows key and type cmd and type python and jupyter dash lab to open your Jupyter Lab notebook. It will take some time. And now, as you can see here, our Jupyter Lab notebook is opening up and we have it open. So you can open notebooks here and you can edit and do all the good stuff here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below.